Sasha Zverev was undefeated last year in the Labor Cup in Prague, and he did the same thing again this year in Chicago. Team Europe on the road in the U.S. gets it done on the final day. Glad you're with us at the United Center, Brett Haber and Jimmy Arias. Man, uh, this Labor Cup was filled with drama. We played 11 matches. Four of them were won by players after saving match point. In the end, Sasha Zverev, after being outplayed in large measure by Kevin Anderson, turned the match around and finished things. This was the most amazing weekend I've ever been a part of in tennis. And I've been around the game for an awful long time, 40 years or so. This was so intense in every single match. You could have just taken a point or two out of each match and the scores would have been completely reversed. Every match, it seemed, came down to the wire. Uh, let's show you how it ended. Uh, Team World briefly took the lead after winning the doubles to start day three. But Roger Federer won a singles match to claim the lead back for Team Europe. And this was the first set of Zverev and Anderson. Anderson takes the first set with some big play from the back of the court. And also one thing Team World does have are great servers. John Isner, Kevin Anderson among them. Nick Kyrgios as well. So the first set went to Anderson. But Sasha Zverev was going to continue fighting. He fought through that second set, one at 7-5. He saved a break point at 5-all. They went to the match tie break, and that missed return after Anderson had a lead in the match tie break. He had a 7-5 lead in the match tie break. And bear in mind, Zverev was carrying quite a bit of pressure. He and Roger Federer held match points in the doubles match, the opening match of the day, and ended up losing to John Isner and Jack Sock. And so the pressure on him to close it out in match three on this Sunday and not push it to a decider, which would have been Djokovic and Kyrgios. Here's the full scoreboard. Remember on day one Friday, Europe swept the singles. Team World got on the board with a doubles win from Anderson and Sock. They split yesterday. But Jimmy, at the end of the first half of this competition, it was 7-1 for Team Europe. Credit to Team World for making a, a go of it. Kevin Anderson really got it started for Team World when he beat Novak Djokovic, who had been the hottest player in the world coming into that match. And then the doubles. That was the one place that Team World had the best opportunity in doubles. They had to win all three. They were able to do that. The difference in this competition was not being able to convert match points. That's true. Team World had a lot of match points in different matches. Three different times. Uh, tip of the cap to Jack Sock, who has now played in all six doubles matches in the history of the Labor Cup, and he's gone five and one in those matches, including three and zero oh for Team World this year. If I had to ask you who the MVP of this Labor Cup was, who was it? I guess it'd have to be Roger Federer, simply because he won two singles matches, and he is the only player from Europe to play from behind. They were down 8-7 when he was playing John Isner, and he saved three match points in that match, and that's what really won the cup in the end for Team Europe. Roger Federer, 2-0 in singles this year, 4-0 over the two years of the competition. Same thing for Sasha Zverev. Those were the two guys who got the key wins in singles for Team Europe this year. And Team Europe won without getting a single point from Novak Djokovic. He lost his doubles with Roger. He lost his singles as well. And so Team Europe celebrates into the night here in Chicago. Two straight Labor Cup victories. Episode three coming next year in Geneva.